Crafters, thank you for joining me today. We have another sunflower card to make and I want to show it to you. It says, where flowers bloom, so goes hope. We have a couple layers. We've done a little blending around the side and then of course we have our surprise in the middle. I think your friends, family are really going to enjoy this. So let's get started. Okay, let's review what you're going to need. You'll need a base card, your first layer, then we'll have a second layer, and this is going to go on the inside of the card. On our base card, we decided to do a 5 by 7 and then our first layer is 4 and 3 fourths by 6 and 3 fourths. And we're going to go ahead and lay that down. Make sure that this is open. Kind of hard to get out. Oh, there we go. Now, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to run it over, pressing the tip down on the cardstock just so we don't get too much. Make sure it's opening the right way. I've done that many a time. Okay, and like I say, the reason we like that wet glue is you have time to maneuver it around. Okay, we're just going to push that down. Okay. Now what we've done on our first, on our second layer, our top layer, it's four and a half by six and a half. And we've already stamped with our stamp. Uh, we'll have all the dimensions and the materials listed below. But we just centered this because we wanted to have time to show you what we're going to do with the uh, with the outside of this. We're just going to blend using two different inks. We have Spectrum Noir, Rustic Brown, and Ranger ink, which is Buttercup. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the brown first. We're going to take our blending tool. I'm just going to pound it down and make sure I don't have too much on there. I'm very gently just go around the side. And when I see it runs out, pick it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't want too much. Just enough to frame our stamp. We are going to be stamping in the top right hand corner, so we're going to leave that white. I'm going to turn it around. And I like to stamp off just so after I stamp it, then I just kind of beat it on my on my glass pad just so I don't have too much on there because I just barely want some on. Okay. And finally the bottom. Okay. And because our sunflower is going to be yellow and orange. I'm going to use my scrubber. I'm just going to scrub off the color. Put that aside and then open up my Ranger Buttercup. Just make sure we don't get too much and just lightly go over. You can't really even see it, but it just, I don't know, it just softens that rustic brown just a little bit. Oh, I think that's framed nicely. So we'll go ahead and we will wipe up our glass mat to get all that off there. And what I like to do is just kind of fan a piece of paper so we can get that dry. And next we're going to stamp our saying. Now remember, for our permanent jet black ink, we're using stays on. That way we can use our blending tools. And what I like to do is I like to take my ink pad to my stamp. And I've already tested it, so I don't have to test it on another piece of paper. So 
So we're just going to get this turned around. Make sure it's right where I want it. I'll straighten that out just a little bit. And stamp it right there. I'm going to press down to make sure we have good contact. And then lift up. Oh, perfect. I love it. I'm going to close my black ink so that doesn't get dried out at all. And now I believe we're ready to go ahead and glue down our top card because we can color once it's glued down. Now because I want to be able to maneuver it around and I stamped it on the back first because I just wanted to test it out. That's always a really good idea when you have a stamp that is so detailed. Go ahead and stamp it out and just make sure you're getting every little bit. And that tells you how much pressure to apply. Okay. So I know it's crooked. We're just going to get it exactly perfect. Okay. I'm going to press down. Make sure it's pressed down really well. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will do the inside of our card. Now remember, this is just going to go on the inside so that you have some pretty writing space. But we're going to go ahead and just do a little stamp right over here in the corner before we glue it in. So let's kind of look and see. I think, I think that would be just perfect. So like I said, I like to bring my ink pad to my stamp. We will stamp that up. And because we don't want it on the, I really don't want it on the glass mat, then I'd have to clean it up. I'm just going to put it right there. And I think right there. Press it down. And bring it up. There we go. So now we have this beautiful inside that we'll be working with and more than likely we will be using our blending markers to color the inside as well. Okay. We took it off camera and I used our blending tools and we uh, blended our flowers, our sunflowers as well as our leaves and our branches. We use the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend colors. We love these. They have a light, a dark, and a medium in the middle. We'll post that below. But what we want to do now is we still need to add a little something on the front. So we're going to use this wonderful little tool that puts uh, little dots, just adds these little dot accents on your card. And it's Stamps by Judith. So once again, we've picked up the Ranger. Just want to make sure I get it. Oh, and we're picking up a, a coordinating color of blue. Just some little dots, ever so lightly. Just put one right there. Just put a couple over here. Oh, I think that should do it. I think that's perfect. Now we're going to add our, our inside layer. I'm going to use some glue, some wet glue just to stick it down. Okay, we really don't need much. Okay, get that stuck right. Right in the middle, we're going to move on to our envelope because we always say you need a little something special on the envelope. We're just going to turn it to the back. We're going to have our piece of paper there so we don't get anything on our glass mat. We're going to use our stays on ink again and we're just going to do a little border along the top. And just put little flower there. Perfect. We're going to stamp 
some more right there okay and then we just need a little bit in the corner okay I think I'll stamp it like that press down for good contact okay and then we just have a little surprise for everyone in the back of their envelope well let's look at our card today oh, I think it's just wonderful have a wonderful day and then you open it up and you have room to write and you have another little stamped flower on the inside thank you for sharing your time with me today I hope you had a great time making these cards. As you can see, we made one with a blue layer underneath. The one that we made that had the orange layer, I think, is equally as pretty. And we also stamped the envelope just to give them a little added touch. If you liked our video, please go down below and subscribe. We would love that. And remember, go out and make it a great day and bring some sunshine to someone.